Hey, if you have trouble controlling your ground strokes, your forehand and backhand, you're gonna love today's video. You're gonna love the tool I'm gonna show you from on court, off court. It's a new tool that you can use to try and feel and create topspin. Now, this is a little different than, than other uh, tools you might have seen out there in that this just attaches right to the fence, which is really cool. I'm gonna show you here in a couple seconds. You can adjust height so you can practice different shots. You can put it on the net strap. So it's really easy to bring out to the court and start to feel topspin. Now, what I love about tools like this too is it gives you honest and instant feedback. If you are hitting topspin on the ball, the ball is naturally going to start rotating, start rotating pretty quickly as you start hitting, right from the first shot. You can see that's still spinning as I'm talking here. Now, if, I, if there's one shot, any of the shots a little off that wouldn't create topspin, what's going to happen right away is the ball is going to stop. Now, what usually creates that to stop is that the racket face opens up. So if you haven't trained yourself on how to hit topspin, here's what I want you to do. Rather than start putting the racket in your hand, the most important thing about being able to really create spin consistently is that you have mastered the feel of topspin. So what I like people to do is actually use their hand and think of your hand like a tennis racket. So I'm thinking of my hand like a tennis racket. I'm just gonna come to the ball and I'm just gonna start massaging the ball up and down so I can really feel the ball rolling. What I don't wanna do ever is open the palm. That's not going to create topspin. That's going to create either a flat ball, if you go like this, or even some underspin, and then the ball is gonna fly if you're trying to accelerate through it like you're gonna hit a topspin shot. So you're basically feeling it right there. Then once you start to feel that, then you can start to roll and follow through. Come again, massage it, roll and follow through. One more time, roll and follow through. Now once you start to feel that, now you can start to take your hand and just move it a little further behind the ball. And you might think that this is some kind of like beginner exercise, but actually if you're gonna have a ball coming at you like 100 miles an hour or more, you probably wanna take about this big a backswing and go meet it and then add some rotation to it so you can control all that pace and put it back into the court. And now we can see that that ball is spinning. All right, so I'm gonna show you here from the back view so you can see just using your hand, you can start to create the feel of top spin. So you can see right here, I'm just a little bit away from the ball, I'm coming, I'm rolling over the ball, I'm really getting the feel of that spin. You can see the ball's rotating really nice. It's a nice solid feeling too. This allows you to really kind of swing aggressively at it. And notice how I'm getting bigger and bigger. It's turning more into my match swing. Remember, you don't want to take the hand too far back anyway. You want to keep everything on the hitting side and do that. So as long as I can see by top of my hand, I'm going through, I'm gonna be hitting top spin. Another thing I don't wanna do is as I'm coming, guys, I'm not doing a lot of wrist action here. You know, a lot of people, they think there takes a lot of wrist at top spin. Look, my wrist, it's relaxed. So it's kind, of a, it's kind of an interesting thing. It's an interesting sensation. It's relaxed, but it's also locked in place. It comes here, hits it, comes through, and you're gonna hit topspin. It's not like I have to add a lot of wrist flick and things like that to create the topspin. Then I'm not gonna have solid contact, and there's a good chance, too, that my palm will open up. So people who are like trying to throw their wrist at it to make things happen, you're not gonna be making solid contact. You'll probably miss the ball a lot. So this is giving me good feedback to let me know like if I can consistently come here and feel the ball really nice and hit the ball, I'm getting that top spin, okay? Now, once I start to feel that, now I'm gonna do the same exact thing with my racket. I'm gonna come here and I'm just gonna start manipulating the ball, coming over. As I do that, then I can start to fall through over my shoulder, going right from the contact, going over my shoulder. Now once I start to feel a little bit of confidence there, I'm gonna go a little bit further away from the tennis ball and come up. And you can see that the ball is rolling right away. And then I can take bigger back swings. 
So this is this phase one. Once I really get the confidence down, now I can test myself. I can actually move away from the ball and practice running to the ball. I can move this thing up the fence if I want to practice high balls. So I'll just show you that. So get the idea of once you kind of get this down and this becomes easy to put rotation on every time, get a little adventurous, bring this thing way up here. Now we've got, and you can also adjust this too, the angle of this. So I'm going to bring this up a bit right there and I'm going to lock it into place. So now look at the ball. Now the ball is a little bit over my... So now let's take a look. I've locked in the place. Now you can see the ball is over my chest. Well, this is a shot that I especially want to take as I'm coming to the net. I want to get these short balls and I actually want to take the ball up higher. Maybe the chest is ideal, but even up here should be a pretty comfortable hit. And now we're going to practice a different type of swing as we're doing this. So I'm going to show you a little bit of a footwork exercise you can do to come up and crush these short balls. So you can see this ball is above chest level. And so now what I want to do is I want to basically get comfortable with it up there stationary and as I kind of get the feel of that then I can back up a little bit and then hop in and do it back up a little bit hop in and do it then I can back up a little more take a couple more hops come up to it and through it so now I can really practice crushing those high approach shots so you can see there's all kinds of things you can do you can start to run to the ball. You can alternate forehands and backhands. So you can really start to feel what it's like to topspin. Then when you go out on the court, you're going to notice your ball is rolling end over end. And what's that going to do for you? That's going to give you a lot of confidence to accelerate the racket head, be more aggressive, and that ball is still going to go in. So that is just a great tool that you can go out by on court, off court to, to start really feeling the topspin. And it's going to allow you to be a lot more aggressive because when you start to see that ball go end over end it's going to give you the confidence to increase that racket head speed be more aggressive and the ball is going to go in and the reason I'm showing you this is our friends from on court off court they are part of our tennis con 3 event where we get the best instructors in the world and they're teaching you how to break your bad habits now one of the you know, really bad habits in tennis is people when they go to hit they don't know what kind of spin's going to be coming off of the racket and so a tool like that trains you how to do it. In fact, we're going to have Joe Dinnifer from On Court Off Court who's a master professional. He's going to teach you how to have more power and spin. So if you'd like to see that lesson plus lessons from Gigi Fernandez, Rick Macy, Fuzzy Yellow Balls, Time Value of Tennis, Racket Flex, Maribon from the Tennis Summit, Jeff Salzenstein, the list goes on and on. They're the best instructors out there. If you want them to help you with your game and break your bad habits, then what you want to do right now is get on my VIP email list so I can send you a free ticket the week of October 14th because we're launching this event from the legendary Newcomb's Ranch, which John Newcomb is also going to be part of Tennis Con 3. So I think this is going to be our best year. Make sure to sign up, get on our list, and be ready to break your bad habits and have your best year on court in 2020. This is Pete from Crunch Time Coaching, signing off. Thanks so much for watching this video.